Hey everybody, welcome back to their first impressions and unboxing video. This time around, I'll be opening up what I believe is the March 2017 Feed Bands release. Now, if you're not familiar, Feed Bands is a really cool sort of subscription service. Now, it doesn't really cost that much to join up. You can check them out for free. And what they do is they really help unsigned bands or bands that are up and coming get out there, reach the rest of the world. They actually have this really cool thing where you can submit your music, you can sell it on their site, and 100% of the proceeds go directly to the band. And more of the club aspect is that you can join at a couple different price points. Now at the free level, I don't think you can really vote, but once you get into that next paid level, which is really not that expensive, you are able to vote on what bands for that month get their record get their album put out on vinyl, which is pretty cool. What I really like about it is that they're all about helping out bands, especially unsigned bands, because they have a hard time. Believe me, I did all that back in the day, and it's it's hard to get your music out there, especially in this day and age. And they actually have a farm out on the East Coast where if you're a band passing through, they'll put you up for the night, they'll actually feed you. So they are true to their word, they are feeding bands, both with food and money. So I think they're a pretty cool service. Now with all that out of the way, this I believe is the March 20. 2017 album release. I haven't looked it up. They just kind of sent this to me and I believe it's got a t-shirt in here, which, oh yeah, I can see it right there. So that should be pretty cool. I can't wait to open this up. So let's begin. All righty. And we're going to... Ah, almost. I don't know why. There we go. And... Boom. Oh, nice. Okay. So here is the t-shirt. Nice. Hey, that's, that's pretty good quality. Look at that. Feed bands vinyl with a horse. Maybe that's the band logo. I'm not sure yet. We'll set this aside for now and take a look. Oh, nice. Put an extra piece of cardboard in there. And let's uh, get rid of this box. Little lights. All right. And what do we have here? Hello again from Feed Bands. You got a little welcome letter here. Wow, so I didn't realize that, that this is their new box. This is their debut of their new box, printed sleeve. It's a printed box, very similar to other services, including Amazon and Vinyl Me Please, which I do like these. Yeah, so that's cool. They have a new lower pricing. So if you just want the vinyl, it's gonna be 20 bucks a month, which is a pretty good deal if you ask me. Here we go, so next month, so that would be April 2017. We're switching to hand press records to create the coolest color combinations of vinyl available anywhere. The only way to lock in your hand press record is to sign up now. Hand press means someone is literally standing at the machine adding colors by hand to create beautiful, unique designs instead of machine doing it all automatically. Wow. So every feed band's record pressed from April on will be hand pressed. That's cool. What is this all about? Oh, cool. Oh, that's the insert. Well, that's nice like that little blurb on then. Let's check out the record. So this is a split LP. It's got two EPs on there, one by Little Light and one by Hunter as a Horse. Let's check out the record here. Ooh, that is a very kind of a swirly, brassy bronze kind of color. So let's see, the two magics, volume one, Hunter as a Horse. So that must be the t-shirt design. And on this we have Little Lights, four roughs. And we have the sleeve itself. Pretty basic, Hunter as a horse, and little light. Oh, that's kind of cool. So instead of a sticker, it's got sort of a, an embossed stamp. So you can barely see it, and it's handwritten 219 out of 600. So only 600 were pressed. What I really like too is that they, um, all these things were shipped separate in a sleeve. Because sometimes, you know, these records can slip around in shipping and they'll, they'll slice into the sleeve, which is not cool. I love the fact that it comes in an outer sleeve already which is great because I think it's less waste. I mean, you're gonna open it, well, most people open it, but at least this way you're not just like using up more plastic in the shrink wrap and stuff. And I think I think that's really cool that they're doing that. I'm sure it's a cost cutting measure on their end. So yeah, that's pretty cool. I can't wait to check out the split EP. So once you join me on the other side of the camera, we'll get started. Hey guys, welcome to the first impressions portion of this video. Now I have to be honest, once I found out that this was a split LP. I had my doubts that it would work that great as a whole album, but uh, the two bands are beautifully put together. I thought that they did a really good job finding two bands that would really jive. They both have female vocalists. They both kind of have a down-tempo feel. I will say that Hunter as a Horse is a little darker. It's a little more brooding, but I really liked it. 
and Little Lights was kind of the opposite of that. They were a little sunnier, but they still kind of had a down-tempo feel. My favorite song by Hunter as a Horse is track four, and that is Fallen Leaves. So that should give you a little taste of what they're all about. They kind of have this shoegaze, synthesizer, sort of dark electro kind of feel. I, I really dig them. So the, the only thing I don't like about Side A is the last song. Initially, I didn't realize it was a remix, and I thought, gosh, is this a song from an older release of theirs? But no, it's just, it's just a remix. I can understand why they added it on there. They had just a little bit of room left on, on the vinyl itself, but I didn't really care for that. It felt very out of place once it came on. I don't know, I, I would have been happy without it. Flipping over to side B, we have Little Lights, and you know, for some reason they didn't have lyrics. I initially thought that maybe they're just an instrumental band, but they're not. My favorite song off of here was track three. So you can kind of hear the similarities between these two bands. All beautiful songs. I really enjoyed them. The one thing I found very interesting is how appropriate... Actually, let's get a, a shot of their, their cover real quick. Little Lights. There you go. Uh, one thing I found really interesting about Little Lights is how appropriate their name is. Little Lights... That really sums up the vocalist. I don't know her name, but I just... Ah, it's just Little Lights. It's just kind of... Little Firefly is kind of dancing in, in the dusk. That's kind of how I, I see them. So overall, I am very impressed with this release by Feed Bands. I've checked out a few of their other records in the past, and I think they're really stepping up their game now with the new packaging. And then next month, they're gonna be doing more custom pressed vinyl, which is really cool. And this vinyl, by the way, sounded great. I think the new lower price point is gonna attract a lot of new people to the service. And I like the interactivity of it. You get to vote on who gets their album pressed to vinyl. You may not always pick the winner, but I think that's nice that there is that inclusion, that you're helping out bands who would otherwise not have that ability to press on vinyl because it is very, very expensive. I've looked into it. It's not cheap and it's very labor intensive. So I think this is really cool what they're doing. But I wanna know what you guys have to say. Leave me a comment. Let me know what you think of the bands, if you've seen them, if you've picked up their music and what you think of the new lower price point of feed bands. Are you interested in joining the service? Let me know. Until then, thank you so much for watching. I am Revinyl Geek and I'll catch you on the flip side. Hey guys, thanks again for checking out this first impressions and unboxing video. Now, if you want to see me talk more about feed bands, I put a video right there. Also put my social media links and be sure to hit subscribe if you haven't already.